Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. This one here is a repeat offender, and I'm thinking it's the fan motor. The fan motor was making a little noise, uh, rubbing. I was able to get it temporarily, but I get into it today. Morning. Nice morning job. Uh, previously the compressor was really hot and that's what's going on now. The compressor is just blazing. I'm going to pull the disconnect and nothing's running. No fan, no uh, compressor. So, but yet the compressor is so hot that it must still be getting power. So pull the disconnect. There's that. I'll go through it. Yeah, it's just a blazer. Some cold water on the compressor. I'll discharge it. Discharge the capacitor. Put a brand new capacitor on here, so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to check the capacitor. See how our capacitor is holding up. Four point eight six is still good. Got another fan motor on the roof. It looks like a newer motor. Let's see the reversing wires are tied underneath. If I save them, I save them when I'm replacing a unit, and sometimes uh, if, it, if the fan motor is bad, I'll cut the wiring. So I don't think this one is bad. I won't know for sure. Capacitor hooked up to test it here. Yeah, I should be able to test it. We've got continuity. I 
think it's good. I'm probably going to swap this in the uh, I need to get some ice on this compressor. I think the fan motor went out on thermal limit. I think it's probably got a bad bearing at this point. It was rubbing really bad. It was rubbing on the deal, so I'm going to go with that. Change it out and get it going. Okay, got a bag of ice. It's not the biggest bag of ice, but it'll work. The bag will help keep the ice on the compressor. Last time I kind of had a hard time with is the ice always falling off. And that was annoying. Alright, the compressor is way hot. So that's going to take a bit to cool down. And while that's going, I can go ahead and change the lid on this one. It's going to take some time to pull it down. Yeah. Oh. Side panel coming up. Looks like we need a few screws there. That could have been contributing to the rattling. It's okay, but the set a little high and it's rubbing on the battery. I think that's what causes the overheating to go out. So change that. Let's take a look here. We've got our fan wire. Alright, this is a three-wire fan, so it's got a jumper for the common to the fan capacitor. And we should have this one right here for the fan on the common. And this can be hooked up either to the common here or to the common on the top of the contactor. Either way, the motor doesn't care too much. That's the blue wire. And then we've got the black wire there. And then going up to common right here. There's our fan. Right there. Now I can remove the lid. Do a little swap right here. It was rubbing on the baffle. It was rubbing so much that it seems like it was notching. You can hear it. Yeah. That was a bad fan motor. So I think that was the right call there. Alright. The professor should be giving up some of the teeth. this fan motor. 
and the bearing sounds okay. So that's good. Okay, hopefully that one's good. We're gonna find out. Another one too. That uh, haven't cut the wires. You know, when their fan's bad and I pull it off, I'll cut the wires. Like on that one, I'm gonna cut the wires so it doesn't get used by accident. And sometimes the wires come in handy. So that's the story there. This one's a four-wire fan, fan motor, just fine, it's easy. Then you just don't need the common, the, the jumper wire for the common, so I won't need this wire that's going through the fan. Just the brown and white will go to the fan capacity. But I do need this piece of conduit. Again, I'll cut off all the wires here, and those come in handy sometimes too. So this one, I've got this from it. It'll go on the front, feed the wires through. turns on it's gonna shoot those leaves up high. <laughs> okay. Now we'll fix it up. later. Just gotta get it going. That's all our wiring through. And pull the unit forward.
And then my trick for lid that I kind of showed you before. It's just turning these. Well, that one's already in. That's all in. Oh, snap. Hey, the baffle's missing. The baffle's completely missing. And that is what's wrong with this lid. The baffle's missing. Darn it. Okay. I gotta pull it off and either change the baffle or use this motor instead. Got my choice. Four wire fan. And motor looks okay. Looks older. It spins okay. Looks like the fan blade's a little different fan blade. It looks like it'll work. I don't know. All right. Kind of back to the to the drawing board. This one doesn't have the grommet on the front, so the four wire fan as well. I can leave the grommet in here and just take the lid back off and swap it out. Alright, well, we got options there. Take a screw here and fix that before I get too far here. See, it's missing the, it's broken there. So I need a nut or something that can hold that. Well, we're giving our compressor a good chance to cool down, so there's that. Uh, what can I use? I need something for the screw to set into. Let's see. Maybe a from the old motor here. Find something. As I was telling you, I'll cut off the wires, make sure no one reuses this motor. I could probably actually just trash out and good. Anyway, the fan has heck bolts, bolt heads on the back that might work. We'll take one and we'll see. Work to hold that hand baffle. Okay. We're going 
gonna try this one right here. Oh, got a nice breeze going. That's good. Got a nice long screw on the Molly. So this should work good. Gotta do what you gotta do. A little easier to fix it up now than once it's in place. Can't really get in there. There's a Molly. Screw heads also kind of small. on the hold.
see if I can make something a little stronger. Just through this wire deal instead. The Molly's starting to want to come apart. Okay, got this wire terminal in and that's working much stronger. And now it's not gonna go anywhere, so I'm much happier with that. So tighten it up and that's making a good a good molly. Good strong metal molly. Holding the threads much better in here. Okay, I have to remember that one. Checking these ones. See, it looks like this one, this one's whole, but this one's broke off halfway. That one's whole. So I need to make something for this one as well. the moment of testing and hopefully this works or we did it all for nothing. That does happen. Okay. Presser is still bloody hot. Our ice is gone. Thank 
crew. I'm gonna dump the rest of this water on there. I'm gonna hope it's enough. And if not, I'll need to go get more ice. Capacitor is easy. One side goes each side. I gotta get the front of it. Just enough room for capacitor. off the jumper lead. And the fan goes one to each side of the contactor. And the clarity to change the direction of the fan motor. This one uses a black and a yellow wire, and then the old one used a black and a blue wire for the same wires. That's how it goes black to black. Check this off. And we'll add a wire net here. And that'll go to our one side of the contact here. Okay. And technically this should go down too. The black side's usually the common side, which is usually on the left. Not always, but usually. This and be more the, proper. the red is usually the run side, the right side, and that's usually like a switch tot or a secondary hot, but that's a little more complex. Right side. So it's usually the blue wire or the yellow wire that lines up on that right side, yeah. and again, blue and red are usually a switch tot. Again, if the fan motor goes Black is way, usually a straight hot, switch these two. but it's a little more complex there. So it's not always terminal really loose. Just most of the time. Take that to the other 
on our lead. Okay. A couple wire nuts and we're ready to try it out. Uh, compressor's still pretty hot, but hopefully we start. Got some more water here. And I just need some Wire nets. Hopefully, it happens. What do I got here? In my bag. Nothing. In my pocket, I probably have some. Save this bag because that'll come in handy for other mission, ice missions. Don't have to leave my hat all the time. <laughs> Keep that deal in my bag. Let's see, I got a large, large red wire net. Excuse me. Oh, I got another one. Good. Two red ones. And again, if our fan motor goes the wrong way, then we'll reverse the, the wires, and that'll be that. Get this wire nut to start. Give it a tug and make sure it's not going anywhere. Same with this one. That's good. Okay, we are ready to run, ready to try it out. Now, if the compressor doesn't start up right away, I'll pull it and then I'll go get some ice. And then, uh, also our fan motor. Uh, for our fan motor, I'm just going to give it a spin by hand and uh, make sure nothing's hitting. I haven't bolted it down yet because I haven't proved this fan, so... I cannot reach there. Let's see if there's something else that I can reach there. Can't reach for that. Whew. It's been that kind of day. Here. Looks like everything's good. Nothing's rubbing. Those are up and taped up. All our baffles are in. Holes are lined up. Okay. Gonna test it. Hopefully our compressor starts. Now I'll be ready to pull it. Alright. Oh, the fan motor is going the correct direction. Yeah, the compressor started up. Alright. Back in business. No odd sounds coming from the from the unit. That's good. Alright. Now I can put the screws in the fan lid. No more rubbing. That's great. Worked out good. All right, now I'll just put everything back together and I'll be all set.
one if I wanted to use it so baffle battle baffle all <laughs> right what are you gonna do man it's nice and quiet in it all right yeah very happy all right stay safe out there we're back on crazy stuff happened in the past few days and going to be trying to share some of those videos with you starting with the one I shared the other day which was about how my best tips on unclogging air conditioner or condensate lines and the preventative maintenance you can do to prevent things but in that video I shared my five plus best tips about you know dealing with condensate drain clogs with from air conditioning and heading those things off. Hope you like this video, trying to share some of my best tips. Now these are steps that you can take to head things off. You know, preventative maintenance always puts the maintenance on your schedule and, and uh, by clearing these lines ahead of time, right ahead of the, the cooling season, uh, can help prevent a lot of these things from happening. Obviously you can't prevent everything, but if you head off the majority of it, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort later on and a lot of energy later on. That way you're not getting called off of everything else. You know, if you can do it ahead of time, preventative maintenance puts things on your schedule. Anyway, that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, yeah. making life easier for you and sparing you as many headaches as possible. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. These past few yeah. days have been some crazy days. Yeah.
Hey, and I hope to be bringing you more videos uh, that happen these days. I had a compressor burnout, so and then I had a unit that needed the disconnect changed out. So hopefully going to be showing you those videos and a little bit more how-to, or a lot more how-to, and just sharing the experiences with you in the days to come. Thanks for watching. Right, everything. Below, you'll find links to the tools and s some of the parts and tools and, and items used in the videos to help keep things running good and maintain things how they should be. It looks like it's internal.